Okay, so let's get started then. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to our great Sumo community meeting. It's a great day and a beautiful day because today is the 1st of July. And then what happens on the 1st of July? Woo! <laughs> we have a launch today. Um, so it's a pretty exciting times. Um, there are some people like Hermina, I don't know who else, who are actually traveling to Spain uh, to participate in the, the launch. Uh, so we're looking forward for, for her to come back to see how everything went. Meantime, let's just like be happy and celebrate this amazing day. <laughs> Firefox away. Yeah. Um, so then let's just get started. We have some previous action items. Um, let's go quickly through them. So the first one was to add discussion about the voting good answers to Thursday's platform meeting. I think that was done. Yep. Michael, that was you. Just to recap real quickly, the bottom line that we said is <clears throat> while, while you're working on the support forum, if you see good answers, it doesn't hurt to vote them up. Also, I saw Chris added a comment in the contributor forum that he often, when he sees uh, bad answers or the wrong answers, he'll vote them down. So people who are like, yeah, Firefox is terrible. You should switch to Chrome. That will fix the problem. Those kind of answers or something like that. I don't, I don't know if there's other, other things there, Chris. Yeah, sometimes people just vote up rants so, right. because they agree with the post. So I just vote those down. That's all. Right. Okay. Uh, thanks, that's very interesting. And the next one, the next uh, action item was to about the contributors of the week. Need more we info on this week's nomination. Okay, so I assume somebody asked why some people were nominated. I guess that was the, the question. Um, and you have the explanation there. It's basically uh, Andrew and Tom were, were nominated for the uh, discussion on the live chat. Uh, because they did a great job in presenting what they want to do, so kudos to them. Okay, um, if do you does anybody have any other questions about this? If not, we can just move on to the first item, which is Sumo Dev update. Adir, welcome back. Yep. Thank you, and uh, let me give you an update on what's going on currently um, on uh, in Sumo Dev land. Uh, so from here on, I mean, you know that I've been putting uh, the current sprint on the Etherpad, but I would also like to take uh, a minute or two to quickly go over the roadmap items that we have on the Etherpad to make sure that everyone knows what the big things are that we are focusing on uh, in this week. So the first thing that you see there is the hot forum threads on the start page, and this is part of, the, uh, of a program that we've been doing I was pinged on IRC, said that if you can see um, the, the, the stuff that I'm talking about on the, uh, on, on the Etherpad. The, um, let's, let's post this on IRC. I just did. Want to see. Okay. Okay. Yes. So hot forum threads once, once again. Um, so this, this is the part of our effort where we try to uh, expose more of the forum uh, to the general audience. Right now, uh, a very uh, small percentage of uh, Sumo users see the forum because right now it's only available through search. So e either you search on Google or you search on uh, Sumo and you see the forum or there is no other way to, to access the content that is there. But there is a lot of uh, great long tail content uh, on the forum and sometimes even things that we didn't get to document yet because they're so new. So it makes sense to elevate um, these hidden gems uh, in the forum so that more casual users, uh, browsers, uh, people who don't search, also have access to them. Um, and that's what we're doing with the hot forum threads on the start page. So this is not actually the start page itself. This is the product landing pages. Um, so on the product landing pages, you will see a special section with the uh, hot forum threads elevated to. Um, 
and we will do this by tagging things in the forum. So when you tag something as hot, we will elevate it to that page. And um, each time you, you update something or, or tag something as hot, something else will be removed from it so it doesn't get too long. The technical details of all of this are in the back. Um, you can get to that from the sprint planning, um, uh, from the sprint link. Uh, the other thing that we are doing is Zendesk integration for uh, marketplace developers. So this is the last one of the last parts of uh, integration that we're doing for Firefox OS, um, and this is specifically about giving uh, Firefox or Firefox marketplace developers an easy way uh, to get in touch with us to get direct uh, support, and it's built into the Sumo platform. So that's what we're doing uh, this week uh, as our roadmap items. Then we're doing a number of other things that you can see here in the 25% time that is uh, smaller and that I won't spend time going over. Uh, you can just read it there. Just one thing I wanted to highlight from that list is uh, something that is coming up that's going to be really big. It's the, um, we have been uh, giving users exit surveys for quite some time now. Um, and now we're going to display those things on the uh, KPI dashboard. We had to hold off on all charts, charts work until we had moved to the new charts system that you uh, are enjoying today. Um, but now that we've done all of that, we can finally move to implement new charts. And one of those is the, um, are the results of the exit survey. So I'm going to talk about that next week when that is implemented too. But just as a heads up, that's a really big one and an interesting one. And that's it for, uh, from Sumadev. Any questions? Feel free. Satav is. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying Satav is asking in IRC about the percentage of the exit survey. We vote. Oh, that, right? uh, yeah. We actually we were asking one percent of our users to help us uh, fill out uh, a few questions, and now we are asking four percent to get to the um, confidence interval. Um, that, that makes sense. It was really, the number of replies were really, really low at 1%. That, that's technicality, I guess. So, Setup, if you have questions about that, we can talk about it on IRC. Okay, great stuff. Uh, thanks, Kadir. Any more questions for Kadir? Uh, if not, we can just move to UX updates, which I think is Kadir again. So, for UX updates, actually, I don't have anything this week. Uh, I'm still uh, catching up with all of the stuff that is happening, uh, and I haven't had I haven't had time to catch up with uh, Ram yet. That's this week. Okay, <laughs> great, cool. Okay, then let's move to like the most important thing that is happening today, which is Firefox OS. So, Michelle, are you on live? She goes by like now. Hi. Hi, hey, Michelle. Hey, congratulations, everyone! All contributors <laughs> to Firefox OS around the world, and especially everyone in Spain and everyone who's part of Mozilla Hispana. Uh, and here uh, in San Francisco today, they're about to start the press conference here. Um, so change your avatars to the little fox and um, be ready for our first commercial device customers coming this week in Spain. That's great. All right, so if you guys did not change your uh, avatar yet, please do. I did. I changed mine and use Firefox OS as a hashtag. Me too. Spam yes. all your friends. And watch I also, um, <clears throat> so you want to watch Movie Star. Firefox OS, that um, is the hashtag they're using for their posts. I'll put that in the Etherpad too. Cool. All right, great stuff. More, any questions for Michelle and the amazing Firefox OS day? David. I don't necessarily have a question, but, but I just wanted to echo Michelle's thank you to everyone for, for your incredibly hard work. I mean, we've, we've been working on this for uh, I think about a year. Our, this particular team has worked for a, a, you know an entire year um, planning this thing, and Michelle in particular has done a kick-ass job of pulling it all together <laughs> and coordinating it. And so, like Michelle, seriously, you deserve a round of applause for your effort uh, up until today. 
Thanks. We have still have more stuff to do today, but thank you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Eva, I'm looking at you. <laughs> the, I mean, basically, the work is is starting now. <laughs> in some it way. is. Yeah. Uh, and and but but I also, you know, I wanted to pause and, and recognize everyone's effort. I, I think Michelle, you deserve a, a a call out for your work, but but really, everyone has chipped in here, and and so I'm I'm just so incredibly proud of what we'll pull together. And I feel pretty good about this. I feel like we're, you know, we're, we have our bases covered. And that, you know, is a pretty awesome feeling to have this particular week. And, and you know, now is the test. Now we'll see how, how things go. And uh, I, I can't wait. <laughs> Bring it on. That would be amazing, no doubt. No doubt. No I doubt. think you're right, Madalena. <laughs> For sure. All right, great. So while everybody updates their avatars, we can move on to roundtable. Um, Michael, you wrote a lot of stuff there. Yeah, this is super quick. But um, so uh, in case you don't know, Firefox on desktop is getting a, a, a redesign um, coming up later this fall. It'll make it it'll kind of look a lot more like it does um, on a phone and tablets. Um, um, and there's some new features to it. Um, so the user research team did some testing, some interviews with current Firefox users. Um, they even split them up by user type. Um, and they went through their kind of their current Firefox setup and then gave them an early build of of the new Firefox and got their first impressions on it. And and I watched a bunch of these last week, and the couple of things that stuck out at me just, you know, uh, right off the bat, still tons and tons of um, toolbars and hijacked home pages. Like, I, I think mo I'd have to go back and look, but pr more than half the people had extra toolbars, at least one extra toolbar. Some had three toolbars um, and hijacked home pages um, out in the wild. Um, so these are existing users. So we didn't, um, I don't think there were any, um, interviews with the evergreen, uh, uh, user type. Those are people who are very new. This is all Firefox is all brand new to them. So we didn't interview them, but lots of, um, of all the other user types and most people they've been using Firefox for for a good amount of time. And for one reason or another, like they were on XP, so they didn't have the Firefox button, or they're on Windows 7 and they've changed their setup and they have the menu bar. Um, I think I saw two or three people that had the orange Firefox button in their setup and everybody else had the menus, um, which was much, I expected to see much, many more Firefox buttons than uh, menu bars, but it was the other way around. And one of the uh, things about having the menu bars is that our new menu, uh, you've seen this little hamburger three line menu on the side. Um, uh, so if you have the menu bar enabled, this is like an addition for you. It's not a change. Like if you have the Firefox button, we've that disappears and now you have this completely different looking thing on the other side of the browser. So that's a change for you. But what I saw in those interviews for most people, the new menu was just an addition. So it wasn't like a disruption in their workflow. They still were able to do things exactly the way they did them before. And they saw things like they got a bookmarks button that they didn't have before because they had a bookmarks menu and they liked it. Um, and they had this additional menu, which they were like kind of, a lot of people were indifferent about. They were like, huh, it has the same things that are in the menus. Like they understood that, some of them after, after poking around. And the other thing about it was um, after playing with it for a little bit, people were like, huh, I've never seen this full screen. And they click that. Or they're like, hey, look, zoom controls. This is cool. Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Changing the, the size of the web page. So it was kind of like a new, it was like a feature discovery area for a lot of people. They, they, they discovered all these new features of Firefox that they'd never known about because they were buried in the menu somewhere before. Um, but that said, 
not everything was perfectly clear, like cut, copy and paste in there can, for some reason confused people um, because you don't have anything selected and they click on the menu and they're like, what am I cut, copy and pasting? Can't you just use the keyboard controls? Like everybody sort of knows those. And so having those buttons there, at least in the people that we interviewed, didn't, didn't seem helpful. But anyway, those are my first, like, those, those are my quick impressions. Um, so it was, in, it was very interesting, very cool to, to watch people um, uh, use Firefox. And um, That's super interesting, yeah. Michael. Actually, I'm a bit envious. <laughs> I want to be part of that and see all the stuff. It yeah. must be, like, super exciting. I believe all of these things, at least, um, prob uh, I'm sure not actually for contributors, but for Mozilla employees, the, the video may be available at some point. But the, the summary of the research that the user research team will do, that will be available to, to everyone. Um, this is my unscientific, just first impressions. <laughs> They'll go through all this and synthesize this and figure out what we actually learned from and, and what stuff we can say. Right. Great. Thanks for sharing. Um, questions for Michael, also Australis, or everybody will just wait for the, all the details to come to us. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's move on. Uh, we have a request from Sadav. Can I ask for next week? We do a quick intro of who we are and what department we're uh, for the new contributors. Yes, we could do that. Uh, the only thing is that I don't think we can do that every meeting because we're quite a lot of people and if we do like 14 introductions at the beginning of every meeting every week, that would be a bit tiring. So an idea would be to just put our names um, on the either pad and you just say and like, just link to everybody's profile. Yeah. Work. Just say who we are and link to our profiles and that would do that should solve it. Cool. Um, should, so I'm, I'm wondering, should we have a, a list of like more or less the permanent attendees at some place in this etherpad so that you could just click on those links and easily see who is who? Maybe that would be useful for people calling in randomly. Yeah, that could, that could be a great idea, actually. So let's put this as an action item um, to add links. Uh, to profiles for for new people to know who is in the meeting and who's who and so on. Or maybe even simply just one link to the team page or something like that. I don't know if that would be. Also, I mean, there are like there are people who are just joining during that meeting, that particular meeting, uh, who may not be on the team page. So we can just like do it. Oh, okay. I thought I thought this was more for. All right, I got it. I th I thought it was for uh, who's who in the team, and not no, necessarily. No, it's more like for who's who in the meeting. Okay. I think they they do that in the mobile meetings. They add their names always at the the beginning of the the meeting. At yeah, the I guess I would make it an action item to figure out the best way of doing it. Uh, I, I feel like I I could think about this a couple of more minutes but not now it's a waste okay. of time well we can we can copy over the list when like when I make a new etherpad I can copy over the previous week's list most of them will yeah. stay the same and then we'll yeah. Yep. yeah okay sounds good cool uh, let's move to next one Firefox desktop uh, I guess that's you Matt all right, just a couple of things for desktop this week. So a uh, big ticket item for 22 seems to be uh, display issues, and that's related to the high DPI changes that we landed in 22. Um, I linked to an article there that's got some information on a good workaround. I'm talking to Michael right now. I don't know if the volume really justifies getting it into the hot topic section, but that's uh, something that we can talk about later today. Um, and then the other thing is there's uh, probably no surprise here, but we have another another Java block that we just pushed out a couple days ago that uh, uh, nobody really linked to it, so I figured we'd call it out here. But um, 
that's it. Everything for 22 looks pretty smooth right now. So uh, with everything, everything else that we have going on, that's a great thing. So let's all hope it stays that way. Excellent. So I guess for all the updates, we can just follow the thread, right? Everything yep. is there. Okay. Cool. Um, any questions for Matt? Take one, take two. No. Okay. Let's move on to Firefox or Android. I guess that's still you, Michelle. Because Roland is not here. Arnold? Hi. Yeah, Roland is on. PTO today, so there's no update for our Android. Okay. It's a Canadian uh, holiday today, is it? Yep. Mm -hmm. or... It is. I don't oh, know which it's, one. It's Canada, right? Oh, it's Canada Day, of course. Canada it's July 1st. Canada Day. <laughs> that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's, you know, yeah, exactly. That's. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Okay. All right, then uh, we skip Thunderbird as well and we move on to metrics. To the Earth. All right, two things. Uh, first of all, as you can see on uh, the KPI dashboard, the number of new questions per day has been going down over the last uh, two months, actually. Uh, I suspect that is because uh, the last uh, release was really smooth, uh, no point release necessary. Um, probably Matt can talk about that too. Uh, I've seen the report, actually, which uh, we mentioned that. And it links pretty pretty well to uh, what we are seeing on the KPI dashboard. So that's good news. <laughs> uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, the CTR data uh, that you're seeing today on the KPI dashboard. Um, that is now based on data that we're getting from Google. Uh, we used to calculate that ourselves, um, but Google is uh, supposedly a lot better at um, locking bots and spiders, which sometimes can interfere uh, with the calculations. But as you can also see, uh, it's not actually a um, big departure from what we had calculated. It's hard to see where the change happened. So if I remember correctly, it happened like a week ago or so. But anyway, um, it's still about 75% of the CTR rate. It's just going to be less jiggly hopefully, over the next few months. Is that the scientific term, less jiggly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course it is. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, just for your information. Um, yeah, that's all I have on the metrics. This week. Cool. Thanks, Kadir. Um, questions about metrics? Anybody curious about more data? More, more data is coming soon. Um, cool. Okay, then we'll move to community updates. So once again, <laughs> in case you didn't know, Firefox always went live today. Um, and this is why Michelle is smiling like crazy. Yeah. She will just smile all day, I think. <laughs> like, yeah. Yes, I will. You're just like lighting up our screen. It's like this huge, perfect smile. It's hard um, not to smile with those balloons in the background as well. I know, yeah. <laughs> and, also the balloons, did you? And, the, and there's people like in very uh, funky clothes, like walking behind the shelf. There was someone with this crazy uh, shirt. It was pretty cool, like celebration time. Yes. Yeah, you should have brought a cake. Um, so yes, this wouldn't have been possible without uh, our community and all their efforts. So thank you guys once again for everybody for participating in like. Yeah, and you guys are amazing. Translating, filing bugs, using the simulator, talking about it, everything. So thank you guys once again. <laughs> this is awesome and it's a very happy day. It's good to be alive today. Okay. Um, and one thing that I wanted to talk to you about today, um, great news. Uh, it seems that we're making great progress on the support forum. Ricky did a great job and he pulled some, some data and made a very nice chart. So thanks, Ricky, for that. Uh, to illustrate how we have been doing um, the support forum in the last three years. So it seems that right now we are basically answering 50% of the questions within an hour. So within an hour since they were posted, 50% of them are answered, which is great. 
because as opposed to like last year, we were around 30% and then two years ago, we were around 20. So we're doing really, really well. Uh, that's one thing. And another thing is that we managed to um, keep the unanswered questions to 6%. Which is again against again a great progress, uh, as opposed to the previous years where we had 50% unanswered questions two years ago, and now we're 6%. So this is great, uh, and I want to thank everybody involved in the support forum, our contributors and our moderators. This is all your work. Uh, so thank you guys. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's amazing, right? So it's like we're answering almost. 50% in one hour. Some users are very happy there. 50% um, so of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so take a look at the chart. We'll have more charts coming in the next weeks. Um, Ricky will pull some more data about stuff. So, you know, um, keep your uh, your eyes open. There will be more great things happening, uh, happening in the support form as well. It's not only Firefox. Um, OK. We can move on to, I think it was Michael who added that. Change your avatar. <laughs> oh, that's just the link to uh, that Firefox OS avatar. OK. I don't so know if a reminder, do not forget to change your avatar for this amazing day. Right. It's a beautiful avatar, really. It just changes. It's better than you. <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. it's a pretty cool fox, that's true. Yeah. So Rosanna, I want to talk a bit about OpenLab. Yep. So um, there's two things. I mean, uh, we've been constantly saying in these meetings that the Polish, the Spanish, and the Brazilian locales have been doing a kick-ass job translating all the articles we're now uh, launching. And today we're launching in Spanish, and every article uh, is translated. Polish, the Polish locale, really great job. Uh, we had we have two new contributors uh, that joined the, the the localizers for you know since Firefox OS, and you know. Great job, same Brazilian, uh, Ralph is working a lot. But when you look at all those Firefox OS articles, uh, it's not only that the fire, that the Spanish, Brazilian, and Polish locale, which are, you know, the, the next two to launch it, are doing uh, the translations, but a lot of locales, I see translations to French, to Hindi. So a lot of people are already oh. translating the Firefox OS articles. Um, uh, so we, 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 of course, we're very, very thankful for those three locales, but Everyone who's also doing the great job of translating those articles to their to their local language, that's great because that will give you know even if the pro, if you know if the, the software isn't available in a device in your in your region, I think it's a great first step that we have the documentation and that uh, people can actually access it. So thanks everyone uh, for doing that. We have the Firefox OS user guide. The documentation is completely translated. There are some articles in the KB, so you can see it in the in the in the languages that uh, that it has been translated to. Um, so that's that's pretty pretty awesome. So thanks everyone, and I think that this proves that you know when we all put to, you know when we have a little plan and we all you know we all know that there's something big happening. We just you know we are able to pull everything and and make it happen. So that's that's really great. Um, what's coming is, of course, new locales will need to translate everything. So we're going to need the help of all the localizers, you know, to help give the new locales tips so that we can achieve the same uh, with every locale. So we'll be looking forward to talking to you and finding out what helps and what works. So that's for the Firefox OS launch. Um, I wanted to tell you something. Um, Ernest Chian from, oh, I think I wrote his uh, name uh, wrong in the ether mm -hmm. path. Uh, he made this amazing presentation, Sumo Elton N, step by step. Not only did, uh, not only does he speak about Elton N, but you know he, he gives like this brief summary about Sumo. He did this first in Chinese, and then Melina asked him to translate it. And he, you know, it's it's really amazing. I linked it there. Uh, so please just take a look. It's a very very good introduction to um, um, you know localizing on 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 Mozilla on Sumo. And uh, just take a look at it. We're going to try. Uh, I talked to him, and, and the idea would be maybe we can make a little popcorn video out of it because it's really, really, really great. Uh, and we can add this to our usual documentation. Um, so yeah, I wanted to recognize his, his work. It's really, really great. So thank, thank, thanks a lot. Ernest. Yeah, thanks, Ernest. And actually, I think we'll see a lot of more great stuff from Ernest. Uh, he's a great guy. Um, I really hope 
we'll get to meet him um, soon. He's from Taipei. So is he joining the Asia summit? All the way. Sorry? Yeah. So I met yeah. him at the the la one last year. Yeah, we we in met him. We met, yeah, we met him in Singapore. He's uh, just ah. to, to give you a quick. He, he has been uh, with Mozilla for ten years. He's very very wow. devoted. He has this amazing little cute fox for uh, Mozilla Taipei, <laughs> and and he's been really doing an, an amazing work. So it's not that he just pop out 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 of nowhere. He's something. See, someone has been with Mozilla for ten years and with Suma certainly from the beginning. So, you know, it's a contributor that, that knows very well what we do and how we do it. So yeah. All right. Thank you, Rosanna. Um, questions for Rosanna? Questions about the community? If not, we'll just move along to knowledge base, Michael, you're back. Um we gotta figure out the rest of the things that have changed in Firefox twenty three. Um so there's some links there to the thread uh, where we're where we're keeping track and an article with all the instructions for researching. Check it out. I'm not going to explain all that. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, any questions for Michael for the knowledge base? Okay. Moving on. Uh, the Spore Forum, we already talked a bit about it. I just want to add another reminder that this Thursday is a new Sumo day where we will try to answer all the incoming questions. Um, it's a US holiday, so I hope that a lot of people will have a lot of time on their heads for, <laughs> on the 4th of July and just answer some questions on the support Forum. It would be awesome. Um, John99 already posted about it in the contributors forum, so you can see the link there. Thanks, John, for doing this. Uh, and he also brought up something that I wanted to talk to you about, uh, which is we're going to start concentrating on increasing the salt rate on the support forum uh, starting this quarter. So if anybody has any ideas, we would love to hear your feedback, especially from the contributors who are all the time on the forum and moderators. Uh, you guys know the best um, how things are going there. So, you know, if you have any ideas about how we can work on the salt rate, please let's discuss about it. We'll open a new thread on the contributor forum, and you know, let's let's do it. We have a mountain to move. So, that's it for the support forum. Any questions? No. Okay. Then the best part of this meeting: contributors of the week. And the contributor of the week is? So I, I wanted to, I mean, like today is a very special day. And I think that because it's a special day and today marks the end of a very, very big project, uh, I wanted to nominate Michelle uh, and everyone that helped her come write the uh, knowledge base documentation for Firefox OS. Um, let me see. Let, let's check the. In the user guide, you made a list, right, Michelle, um, of all yes. the contributors that helped there. Yes. So I'm gonna paste that. Um, I'm gonna paste. Wait a moment. I'm gonna paste that <laughs> list. And most uh, of them did not have a device. I had a device. It's much easier <laughs> for me. Most of them used the simulator. So, so the kudos. Yeah. I exactly. Agree. So I'm gonna. I'm, I think that everyone deserves to be to be you know to get mentioned here. Sata, Fear56, Roland Tanglao, Zombie Expressive, T. Jovanovic, Einerd, I, <laughs> Arias, T. Jans, yeah, sorry, for, I cannot pronounce it, Yala96, Pai Chen, Hermina Conde, Willy Aranda, Adam Peebles, Wright, Tones, Warnava, Scooby Diver, R. Newman, Mandel, Brown, Tyler Donor, Verdi, Michelle Luna, Evi, and Kadir Tabal. I think you should, and that's yeah, not even that's including the people who localized it, right? This no, is, yeah, yeah, that's not even including the people who localized it. So, um, yeah, I just, just, just wanted to say, I think that this week is, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's really amazing. It's also, as we said, it shows that all these people together could work on knowledge-based articles, right? So it's a truly collaborative effort in, you know, creating the documentation. Uh, that's going to be included in some manufacturer's uh, uh, documentation. So it's really very good material. 
So thanks everyone for doing this, and I think that you all deserve to be the contributor of this week. Yep. Yep. Couldn't agree more. I mean, really, this this like Rosanna says, this shows that you know this wouldn't have been possible without teamwork. It's the teamwork of this incredible community that makes this possible. It's actually humbling for me to see this list and knowing that this is just the people just who worked on in US. And by the way, I'm hearing some echo. I don't know if, who is um, contributing that part of this meeting, but if you know who you are, please meet. What? Wait, well. Testing, testing. Oh, ah, it's it was there. Berlin. <laughs> Hello. Are you back? Yeah, we're yeah. back. Can you hear us? Perfect. No echo. Okay. This tiny little thing just likes to play pranks on us. Yeah, it's, it's the Berlin way of doing things. <laughs> the Berlin echo. We're not holding so any grudge against Berlin, are we? We're touching it. Yeah, we're not doing anything. We're like being real quite nice. Maybe someone has telepathy powers and, you know. <coughs> I think Ebay is working on it. <laughs> He's trying to make it again, right? <laughs> Don't, you just fixed it. Come on. All right, okay. Uh, I guess we're done. Uh, we have some action item, which is to add link to profiles for people attending the meeting. And that's it. Uh, yeah, Michelle, do you know if there's like like cakes or anything around Firefox OS at the office? Besides balloons? Okay. I well, anyway, if you see anything at the office, Evi, Chang, or Michelle, uh, that's worth of taking pictures, please share with us because we want to see, want to be part of that too. Yeah, we have no cake here and we're very jealous. Yeah. I'll try to make some vines if that's okay. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Some vines. <laughs> How modern. <laughs> I love uh, it. Well, thanks everybody then for this amazing meeting. Uh, don't forget to celebrate tonight. Right. It's very special. Uh, go out, go crazy, and show up <laughs> on the streets. This is what we're going to do. And if uh, you know, I picked the wrong day of fasting. <laughs> It's like, yeah. it's like the safe for work version of the, the airplane joke. Or that was an airplane. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> Good movie. Okay, so this week, change your avatars, enjoy this, you know, launch, and uh, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess remember that, yes, this marks the ending of a really long journey towards today and this week but now a new chapter begins so embrace for that as well <laughs> this is going to be a fun week another long journey towards something else an exactly. even better journey yep <laughs> exactly. all right thanks Madalena. Okay. thanks everyone bye guys bye bye, bye guys